In this episode, we cover what to do when we accidentally delete something that we probably shouldn't have. And how to restore that by using the backups automatically made by Streamerbot. Hello and welcome to Streamerbot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Streamerbot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. So we all make mistakes and Streamerbot is very good at helping us cover those. So for example, if instead of deleting a comment over here, we actually delete the whole action. Even though we get prompted in Streamerbot, we can actually recover from this. So the first thing to do is to close down Streamerbot. Now, if you've just added in the functionality within this, you may need to look at exporting the functions and re-importing those new ones. Streamerbot, whenever it starts up, takes a copy of everything in its data folder. So these are all the settings for the Streamerbot. And it puts in a backup folder. So we can look down here and see the latest one was created at this time and date. And these are the files which are the backup. We can copy these from the backup to the data. Now I'd recommend if you are doing this restore, add those to a zip file so you can move back and forth if we need to. We've got temporary. So we're going to copy the files and backup. And then we can start Streamerbot again. And we'll see it's reverted to the settings back to normal. With the actions here and the command is back. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media and to Streamer Bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide Streamer Bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.